Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and we're going to share another clutch update with you. This is clutch number nine, I believe. It was a super pastel lesser bred to a lesser. So that would mean this guy here, or girl here, is mom. She won't give me back the water dish, so you have to just trust me. She looks really cool. Give me the water dish. Give me the, give me the water dish. Okay, I gotta put it back now. You've spilled it all out. Oh my goodness, snake. Arr. So, and she shed. Super pastel lesser, right there. That's her. Uh, really pretty snake. This was in-house produced, so I'll put that one back. And it was bred to a lesser, which I believe was this guy here. Now this guy banged his face years and years and years and years ago, and he's always had a little bit of a messed up face since then. Uh, just. Slight swelling on the bottom jaw, but otherwise he eats fine, he's fine, um, and he does good. That's the male, so that's dad. So obviously, obviously we were going for bells. I'm going to tell you now, just wait till you see these results. So I've got four babies to show you. Uh, that was what we had to survive. I think we had six eggs. I think we had the eggs all there. I think they all came out, but I know we had a normal drip shit and something else will be lost. I can't remember what it was. So we did lose a couple of them. So like I said, last clutch sounds terrible, but you're going to have a few every year. And this was a part where we had a few. So let me show you these guys we got left. Uh, we're going to start with 220901. Now these were all pretty small. Good news is I'm not assist feeding any of these. They're all eating on their own. So these are doing, doing, doing good. But since they were small eggs, small babies... Just gonna take him a while, isn't that little one? Like that thing, you know, 68, so it needs a few more meals. And this is just a straight pastel. So the pastel passed on and nothing else. So straight pastel, right? You know, nothing too crazy. And you're gonna have some clutches that aren't too crazy. Next up will be a number two. Now this one's been eaten on its own, but it did not eat this week. Uh, and it's going to be probably smaller than the other one. Again, these are small babies, so that's part of what's going on with them. But it has been eaten on its own. And you can see, other than the last one we showed you, there is no, even though it's small, it's just small. But the skin looks good. We're not folding through there. One thing to check on these babies is this one, one of the reasons probably didn't eat, is it looks like it's got a poop in there. See that swelling there? But it's all soft. So I think we'll be able to handle that on our own. If it doesn't, by next feed, guess what? I'm going to poop it for it. So that's probably one of its issues on why it probably didn't eat this week. This is just another pastel. Nothing too crazy. Those are things, too, that I'll be honest. When I had a smaller collection, I would notice a lot faster than I do now. Uh, number five. Now this one is a little bit beefier, okay? This one's a little bit beefier. This is a, a nice, just straight up lesser. It's probably hitting over 80 grams now, and it is. So this is one that took off really well. It's in shed right now. You know, you can just tell because it's kind of blue in the eye. Just overall kind of bleh. But this is one I think we just got labeled as a straight lesser. And it's got pretty nice flame. This is a nice snake when it sheds out. If you're looking for a single gene lesser. The last one. Oh, I lied. This one has not been eating on its own. So this is when we've been assist feeding. This was this week to not be assist fed. It'll get assist fed next week if it doesn't eat. And again, we started because it was starting to look very thin. So right through there. And that's why it's in the 40 gram mark. Whenever you see this, that's when you ought to be making sure those things get meat. We'll usually assist feed, give it a chance to eat on its own, assist feed, give it a chance to eat on its own, assist feed. So that's kind of how we look at those. And this is a little lesser pastel. Uh, the, again, the last one from there is doing on the struggle bus. So, for that clutch, we have had a few strugglers. And a few do really well. And one in between. It's just kind of what it is. Now, what you'll notice I didn't pull out was any bells. And I can't tell you what the other two were off memory. I could if I pulled my computer out, but it's not even here. I should have that when we do these. That would be actually helpful. Don't let me do these on the computer anymore. Oh, what we filmed today. Uh, but I can tell you... 
we didn't hit any bells. We had a very disappointing year this year when it came to bells because that was a clutch that should have produced bells and it just it just didn't. You know, it was one in four. Should have had one. It didn't happen. Uh, we had another lesser that we bred for producing bells. And she's been a good proven breeder for us, but she did not go this year. So we missed on bells there. So sometimes there's a project you're looking for. For whatever reason, it just doesn't happen. For us this year, that was bells. There's other places where we really killed it. A lot of the ghost stuff, the blitz stuff, the, you know, the hellfire stuff we're going to show you here soon. All of those things where we really smoke the odds on. But bells are just not it. Now we could have used our... Uh, our super lessers to make bells both of our super lessers went this year but the funny thing is we decided not to do that we decided to go different routes with those so maybe next year we, we use one of the super lessers to in fact create those bells again kurt anything you want to add about this clutch no are you happy with this clutch yeah. me too this is a disappointing clutch in a few ways you know, one thing we told you, we're always going to be transparent with you. And, you know, if we weren't going to be transparent, this is a clutch we wouldn't even bother showing. Why? It struggled from the word from the time, the time it hatched. That clutch has been a problem. Save one or two babies. Um, two, we just had shit luck on the odds. I mean, I think we hit one lesser past Stell. One. No bells. What the Fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, that's terrible, man. That is not good odds at all. Uh, especially when we... Actually, wasn't a normal. It had to be at least a pastel because it's a super pastel lesser. So I want you to think the odds of a bell... It would have been pastel bells, which would have been freaking amazing, are pretty high. And we just couldn't get it done. We just couldn't get it done at all. So that really, 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 really sucked. Um, but it is what it is. That's par for the course. We're going to switch over to Patreon now tell you what our plans are with those uh, yeah and I'll kind of explain what's going to happen with them. Craig you want to add? No. Nope. All right we're going to move on to the next thing then.